How's it going? Are you ready to get excited because the new GitHub Spark has officially been released and I want to show you something really exciting. So in the background, in the small screen, the 3D tilted screen, you can see the new GitHub and I'm a big fan of GitHub. As you can see, I, uh, I've been awarded as a GitHub star lately. Recently, I really love GitHub. So here's a shout out. Here's a shout out to GitHub. So actually I tested Spark last year um when it wasn't yet released to the public and it was really cool and yesterday it was officially launched by github and microsoft not sure if you saw tom as the ceo of github and satya the ceo of microsoft releasing it on uh, x and it was really mind-blowing so i think without any further ado let me give you some context about what i'm doing here i think you're gonna like it a lot and here it goes first off I really, I'm really into machine learning and AI, real AI. So I really like the website Kaggle that has data sets and competitions from time to time. And what I did here actually is join a new competition just announced recently about brain to text. Now I'm really into brain science and I really like brain science. It's fascinating field and combining with AI and LLMs could be actually quite mind blowing. And I even, uh, I'm now looking into brain, you know, the devices, you can get your own brainwaves uh, signals. So we have Muse S Athena and we have Neurosity and, you, and we have Emotive and other products, which should be really, really nice. Um, I'm still looking into this and, and I'm going to release a new video. But the idea is to join this competition, you see, and the, the goal is actually to find a way a good way to take the data set that has been prepared by these guys of Kaggle and take the signals, the CSV signals of the brain. Uh, they used 256 electrodes um, to get signals from the brain. People thought about uh, things they wanted to say, and then we have in the data set what they wanted to say. So we have the signals. But what if we want an analysis of this cool thing? Like imagine you have your sample and you want to get a visual analysis of this thing. So this is what I did. I actually downloaded the data and then I used, let me show you, I used GitHub Copilot running on VS Code Insider's version and I used Claude online to give me a prompt to create like, you know, the analysis and if you want to see the prompt, I said I have a brain computer interface data set for speech decoding, uh, etc. Blah, 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 blah. It started working, analyzing the data, uh, creating this CSV sample from the data. And now we can also see some visualizations of the brain wave and so on. So this means I took the data set from Kaggle and now I have the ability to get a sample. I have lots more, but I have a, this CSV sample and I thought it would be really cool that not only using GitHub Copilot, oh, I'm sorry about this error, not only using GitHub Copilot for uh, doing the analysis, rather let's, let's use GitHub Spark now to create a beautiful interface for analyzing this data, the brain samples. So if you want, you can see how it looks like. We have a sentence text, text length. We have the, I think it's the EEG, like the raw data and the sentence that the user uh, wanted to say, thought of. So now aimed with this information, now we can understand what we did. Oh my goodness. So I, I asked Claude to give me a detailed prompt for creating a no, uh, for a no code agent to develop a stunning web application that will analyze the CSV. And let's see in real time what happened. So I pasted the prompt into Spark, github.com slash Spark. I pasted my prompt in here. We can see it if we like. This is the prompt from Claude Code. And then what happened is really, really nice. We can see that Claude, sorry, let me move myself to the uh, right corner. Just a second, one, two, three, and I'm here. All right, cool. So we can see that what GitHub Copilot Spark did with Copilot is creating a PRD. And we see, we have the specs and everything. We see the files of the application. And we even have now, after it finished, we have suggest suggestions such as add 3D brain model with WebGL, etc. I think it, be, it could be really cool. But first of all, let's see what we got. 
So this application actually looks really stunning. We can test it before doing further actions. But you know, GitHub Spark is more than just pasting a prompt and getting something. It's getting a real full stack web application that we can not only see the code and you know publish it to our own repo. We can open code spaces. We can create a repo using uh, creating our code and we can publish, deploy it on GitHub instantly. So let's create a new repo. And we see your Spark will code will be created at a repo. Houdini, this is my GitHub handle, Brainwave, da da da. All right, so I'll click create. Now the code will be published to my GitHub repo. How am I blowing this thing is? And now if I want, I can see the mobile view of this application look at this cool neural network stuff it's it's actually it looks really really good and now let's say i want to publish this application before testing it and i'm publishing the web application in real time let's see how long it takes and then in the meanwhile we can understand that this web application has a demo and it should allow us to upload a ccv file and the interesting part would be to see what it does. So now that the app was has been deployed, we have the public URL, we have the visibility, which for security is really cool. We can select only myself, anyone with a link, sign up into GitHub or organizations, which is really secure. This is amazing. GitHub, you did really, really well. All right. So um let's update we can click update on update permissions this is really nice i think the guys thought of everything but let's see it in practice if this application actually works it'll be mind-blowing so let's click on the url that has been deployed let's zoom out let me uh, return myself to this side and now let's click on explore and let's click on start demo and let's see what's happening all right oh my goodness we have this whoa wow neural activity visualization this is the area of the brain now this is just a demo oh my goodness what am i seeing here i the sentence the neural wave pro forms neural activity heat map ai analysis now github has a built-in llm into it so this is a real response from a real llm the word thought is being decoded as we speak okay this is this is amazing. Let's go back and let's upload the real CSV file. Choose a CSV file. Um, I think that my file is, let me find where my file is. I think I have it um, somewhere in here. Yeah, all right. This is the folder. And we have this BCI brain uh, code something interface. All right, back to demo choose a file let's see what is the path copy past let's take this is v file all right cool now we took the real sample let's play it and we can see the area in the brain we can see the real-time metrics now what actually it did look how amazing this thing is it actually plotted the way the brain waves um, in its neural waveform we can see the sentence from the data set that's what you do with uh, catfish after you catch it. We see the brain waves. We can see that the brain activity heat map. We can get AI analysis to get AI power. At this moment, your brain is actively, actively orchestrating the decoding of the language with neural activity at 34.9%. Wow. All right. Neural insights, playback speed. Let's slow it down for a second. Neural facts session info decreasing and what is cinema mode let's see what is cinema mode oh my goodness so we have the brain activity let's click play and we see that's what look in real time that's what we see the area in the brain that fires up this is this blows my mind this actually blows my mind do you understand what's going on i took a real competition from kaggle and I use Cloud Code, uh, Cloud Story in the web UI. I use GitHub Copilot to analyze and give me samples of the data. Then I used GitHub Spark to create a web application that will uh, help us to see visually the samples in a nice visual way. 
And just from one prompt, we can see the competition, we can see if you on GitHub, just from one prompt, we got this stunning web application that even has this unbelievable demo and visualizations of the brainwaves in real time. This blows my mind away. Just imagine the potential that GitHub Spark actually has. So if I'll go back to GitHub Spark, we can see the interface. This is how it looks like. Really simple. I can click on the recent project. And from here, now I can iterate and add prompts and refine things and change whatever I want. You can see I have theme. I can change the colors, data. We can uh, see the prompts, assets. We can upload our logo and change things, change cool things. All right, this is really, really neat. This is really cool. So let's click on Add 3D Brain just as an example, and we'll see what's going on. Manual edit, Add 3D Brain. You see GitHub Copilot is thinking, looking at our existing brainwave. I don't want this video to be too long, but this, so, this is so excited. I urge you to try and check out GitHub Spark, the new one, um, available on github.com slash spark. And I think you're going to love it. Now, currently, it's available to all of GitHub um, Pro Plus users. And I think it's going to blow everyone's mind. It's a full stack web application that is deployed on GitHub in a secure way because GitHub is under Microsoft Azure. And this blows my mind away. All right. This really, really blows my mind. And now it uses 3JS. Oh, oh my goodness. Let's sum let's summarize this video. All right. So we use GitHub Spark, we use GitHub Copilot, and we got this stunning, stunning, stunning web application. I really like seeing. I really enjoy brain science, I must admit. So anyway, we I hope you liked this video. If you did, please, and if you don't even, please comment, like, share, subscribe. Tell me what you thought. Tell me what you think about GitHub. GitHub, here's a shout. Love you and can't wait to see what people create with uh, this amazing GitHub Spark app. Cheers.